Members of the Department of Education, Burlington County Education Association, fellow superintendents, administrators, distinguished guests, and most importantly, our 2019-2020 Distinguished Educators of the Year. I'm Dr. Nagy, superintendent of the Burlington County Institute of Technology and Burlington County Special Services School District. It is my distinct privilege to host and welcome all of you for the first time in a virtual format, the Virtual Educator of the Year Recognition Ceremony. Our theme this year is simply the best, like in Hollywood, and our recipients will be taken down the red carpet. On behalf of the Burlington County Board of Commissioners and my joint Board of Education, I extend to all of our award winners my congratulations. Who could have ever predicted the interruption of our lives? our work environment, and family functions, to name a few under COVID-19. We all had to pivot since March 2020 to virtual and hybrid realities. My team has worked tirelessly to bring you a quality and dignified virtual program, which highlights our honorees while bringing in BCIT and BCSSSD student performances and brief speeches of key guests. I would like to thank our County Executive Superintendent, Daryl Minus Vincent, and my fellow superintendents for their collaboration. The majority of the praise, however, goes to Michelle Hill and Christine Genter, who put the entire program together and collated information from districts around the county. I also want to acknowledge Dr. Pamela Turkowski, instructor and director in our performing arts program, for directing our BCIT choir and soloist, and to the administrators at BCSSD for arranging the participation of our special services students. I'd also like to acknowledge the work of Dr. Lisa English and Narita Mack for the stellar work to arrange for the packaging and pickup of the ceremonial Educator of the Year plates, which will be provided to our awardees by our respective school districts. I often remind my staff that we as educators are called not to work inside the box or outside the box, but particularly since March, we've been called to work in an environment where there is no box and have been expected to create a new pathway. Greek philosopher Heraclitus once said, no man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river and he's not the same man. We can say that of all of our participants and honorees today after COVID-19. Salesforce.com CEO Mark Benioff said it best this week when questioned whether or not we'll go back to work to the way the things were before COVID-19. He basically said, and paraphrasing, the present is what the future was in January of this year, where Zoom and Google Meet were just picking up momentum, but not universal among companies and educational systems. Now they are part of the permanent toolboxes. And parent work environments have changed forever, and so has education as a result. 
Enter all of our awardees today who've been selected to be on the red carpet for their dedication to our students and districts for being simply the best. Congratulations. We're celebrating the future today in each and every one of you. Good morning, Interim Commissioner Kevin Dimer, fellow educators, and all of the county and state administrators. My name is Dumar Burgess, and I'm the proud principal of Hawthorne Park Elementary School, which is a part of the Willingboro Public School District. On behalf of Dr. Neely Hackett, our superintendent of schools, I'd like to congratulate all the 2019-2020 Teacher and Educational Service Professionals of the Year. Now, let me get to introducing you to my friend, my colleague, Ms. Michelle Ann Spring. In my 21 years of service, I cannot think of a more deserving teacher than Ms. Michelle Ann Spring. Ms. Spring is an extraordinary educator that believes that all students are scholars and leaders. She is a master at creating a class culture that is both nurturing and rigorous. Because she seamlessly integrates best practice into her lessons, her students have done exceptionally well on district mandated benchmark assessments. Ms. Spring always challenges her students to be critical thinkers. On any given day, you can walk into her class and find students leading lessons and discussions. She challenges her young scholars to respectfully challenge each other's responses, perspectives, and thinking. She never gives up on her students. After school, you can find her working with individual students or small groups, giving them a little extra support. Ms. Spring is an educator that not only positively impacts the students that she teaches, she also participates in a number of activities and committees to help the school and the district. She is a member of the school improvement team. Ms. Spring is a model teacher. To support district efforts to improve teaching and learning, Ms. Spring helps to plan, organize, and facilitate district-wide professional development workshops. She's also a curriculum writer. It is with great pride and great enthusiasm that I introduce to you, my friend, my colleague, Ms. Michelle Ann Spring, the Burlington County 2019-2020 Teacher of the Year. Thank you, Mr. Burgess, for your unwavering support over the years, and particularly this year, during my tenure as the Burlington County Teacher of the Year. Let me also extend my sincere thanks to the Burlington County Superintendent of Schools Office and NJDOE for all the support given during this time. Good day, everyone. Let me first of all echo everyone's sentiments as I congratulate this outstanding cohort of educators on such a well-deserved honor as 2020 Governor's Educators of the Year. Suffice it to say, these are difficult, challenging, and unprecedented times. But as educators, we must continue to adjust and adapt to the rapidly changing dynamics of our society. It boggles the mind that it was just last year that I sat among an incredible group of educators who were honored as Governor's Educators of the Year. Though so much has transpired since then, it has truly been an incredible honor and privilege to serve as the 2020 Burlington County Teacher of the Year. And while it's understandable that this esteemed achievement has provided validation for years of hard work and sacrifice, it honestly has been less about me and so much more about the scholars whom I teach, the progressive work being done by the educators at Hawthorne Park Elementary and in the Willingboro Township School District more broadly. Serving as an ambassador for my district and Burlington County Schools, has afforded me the opportunity to meet and interact with educators around the state, especially pre-service and early service teachers. As I reflect on this amazing year, I am struck by this remarkable journey that brought me to teaching. It was about seven years ago, as I was contemplating a career change, I had a conversation with my mother about how I could assist in effecting real and enduring change in our community. That conversation became a catalyst for where I am today because it was then that my mom told me that she believed that I had the potential to be an excellent teacher based on my years of teaching Sunday school, children's church, and directing the youth choir. After giving it much thought and doing some research, 
I decided to serve my community by investing in our most valuable resource, our children. It was then that I formed my teaching philosophy, grounded and shaped by Carl Jung's idea that states, one looks back with appreciation to brilliant teachers, but with gratitude to those who touched our human feelings. The curriculum is necessary raw material, but warmth is the vital element for the growing plant and for the soul of the child. I've just completed my sixth year and I still feel this way. I know you do as well. Fellow educators to you, I say this. I know these have been challenging times. It was Jacques Barzin who opined that teaching is not a lost art, but the regard for it is a lost tradition. Just a few months ago, we were hailed as heroes who rushed in to save the day, and now somehow that's changed again. Nevertheless, I want to say that I see you. So much of what we do is unseen, unrecognized, and uncelebrated. So I want you to know that I see you spending your own money to create engaging lessons and buying school and classroom supplies. I see your exasperation when your students are viewed under the scrutiny of a single test score rather than the totality of what they know and are able to do every day. I see you leading enthusiastically. I see you sacrificing time with your own families just to finish lesson planning. I see your compassion and humanity as you advocate for your differently abled students so that they too can experience success. I see you making an impact. I see all you are, all you do, and all you give. Because sometimes we all just need someone to truly see us in this often thankless profession. With the scope and complexity of what we do, I know we aren't paid as we should. And I know that most people think our job is so easy and they always know more about teaching than teachers do. But even with all that, Teaching is still the single most rewarding profession that gives birth to all professions, I might add. We are proud educators. Our collective philosophy is borne out by Henry Brooks Adams' thought that a teacher affects eternity. He or she can never tell where his or her influence stops. Knowing that this is some of the most important and impactful work we've ever done, let us be continually mindful that our ever-changing responsibilities and mission, thankless though it may sometimes be, is to positively affect children for a lifetime and to progressively transform lives for generations to come. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations.
Hello, everyone. I'm Anthony Rizzo. I'm Burlington County Education Association President. And I'd like to begin by congratulating all of you on being recognized as your school's teacher or ESP of the year. In conducting research for my speech, I came across two items that I would like to share with you. The first one is by Jeff Foxworthy, and I just found it amusing. How do you know you're a teacher? You get a secret thrill out of laminating things. You can hear 25 voices behind you and know exactly which one belongs to the child out of line. You can eat a multi-course meal in under 25 minutes. You've trained yourself to go to the bathroom at two distinct times during the day, lunch and planning time. You start saving other people's trash because most likely you can use that used toilet paper roll and the plastic butter tub for something in your classroom. You believe the faculty room should become equipped with a margarita machine. You want to slap the next person who says, must be nice to work seven to three and have summers off. You believe chocolate is a food group. You can tell when it's a full moon without even looking outside. You think caffeine should be available in intravenous form. You spend more money on school stuff than you do your own children. You can't pass the school supply aisle without getting at least five items. And you understand instantaneously why a child behaves a certain way after meeting his or her parent. The second thing I'd like to share with you is an excerpt of a letter written by a veteran teacher to a first year teacher. The veteran teacher noticed that the first year teacher was frantic and decided to provide some good advice. Remember, it's not about the lesson plans, the SGOs, the SGPs. It's not about the fancy stuff we teachers make, the crafts we do, the stories we read, the posters we laminate. No, it's not about, that's not what matters. It's about being there for your students because at the end of the day, most of them won't remember what amazing lesson plans you've created. They won't remember how organized your bulletin boards are, or how straight and neat the desk rows are. They won't remember the dazzling decor that you've designed, but they will remember you, your kindness, your empathy, your care, your concern. They'll remember that you took the time to listen to them when they had a problem. They'll remember the personal stories that you told them about your life, about your home, your pets, your children. They'll remember your laugh because what really matters is you. You make the difference in their lives. Now, after reading this article, I began to wonder what advice I could give you. I came up with nothing for I have never been selected as teacher of the year in my 33 years of education. What was I doing wrong? What did I fail to do? And suddenly it came to me. As teachers, we are often so hard on ourselves. We can be our own worst enemy. We mentally beat ourselves up for virtual failures. We compare ourselves to others. We work ourselves to the bone in the hope of achieving the perfect lesson, the most dynamic activity, the most engaging lecture because we want our students to think we are the very best at what we do. And we believe that this status of excellence is achieved merely by doing. But we forget excellence is more readily attained by being, being available, being kind, being compassionate, being transparent, being real, being thoughtful and being ourselves. Of all the students that I know who brag about former teachers, most have said the teacher they remember best are the ones that cared. I guess sometimes students see what we can't. While the flashy stuff can entertain them for a while, it's the steady deliverance of empathy, the relationships that we build with them, the time we invest, the little ways we stop to show concern, 
that keeps them connected to us. We continually strive for excellence in our profession. But as these days of fiscal restraint and top-down demands keep coming at us, we need to stay the course for ourselves and for our students. So when you go back to your classes, take a good look. See past the behaviors, the issues, the concerns, that pressing as they might be. See beyond the stack of papers on your desk, the numerous unanswered parent emails. Look, and you will see that it's there, right inside of you. The ability to make an impact. The chance of a lifetime to make a difference in a child's life. In the end, it's you, their teacher, that really matters. You can do it right where you are, just as you are. It's in you. I know it is. After all, you are the teacher or ESP of the year. Thank you.
Hello, Burlington County educators. My name is Daryl Minus Vincent, and I have been the Executive County Superintendent since July 16, and have become extremely proud of all of the hard work that has been demonstrated by staff such as you. But most importantly, I have noticed the profound impact you have had on children. In Burlington County, we have built a strong foundation through our community of lifelong educators who are student focused and see the needs of children as the most important driver when designing instruction and programs. You bring this philosophy to your school district role and meet the challenges of a very demanding and fast paced position with excitement, confidence, and enthusiasm. This is what being a teacher or education support professional is all about. Now, it is no doubt that your role has certainly been made more challenging by the COVID-19 pandemic. But being a leader that you are, New Jersey students remain in a great position in the number one school system in the entire US. This recognition event for county educators has always been one of the highlights of my year. So I was certainly disappointed when we could not hold it at the normally scheduled time in May. However, we now have the chance to conduct a more timely dialogue as you have a whole school year ahead of you. So in closing, I offer you this advice. Number one, continue to learn your craft. This time has provided us the opportunity to teach and learn in new and fascinating ways. We are depending on technology more than ever as it has become a major platform for student instruction. So be open, embrace it, and be a trailblazer. Number two, give your students a voice. More than ever, there are events occurring all around the world that are influencing the thinking and opinions of students. We can't hold them back. We have to listen and let them express their views in a safe way and guide them in such a way that they're able to make informed and constructive decisions, which we hope will make them productive and committed contributors to our global community. And number three, for you, practice self-care. Some may do it on a weekly basis with one thing you love to do, or some may do it in small snippets throughout every day. But wherever the case may be, don't forget to take care of yourself. Take more walks, reach out to your favorite person, or just do deep breathing exercises. These all impact our mental state and help us help others. So these unprecedented times call for unprecedented commitment. And with you leading the way, Burlington County and New Jersey will, will continue to be a trailblazer. Please don't hesitate to reach out if I can ever be of assistance. I am your professional partner. Thank you for all that you do.